The theme for this year's Heritage Day was celebrating 2010 FIFA World Cup successes, our heritage. We are proud to have this success as part of our heritage. There can be no better day than Heritage Day to formally celebrate this unique achievement of South African people, President Zuma said on Friday the 24th of September at the National Heritage Day celebrations at the Moses Mabida Stadium. Referring to all the games played at the Moses Mabira Stadium, the President said we are celebrating Heritage Day in a stadium that is very much a part of World Cup heritage. This stadium, which is named after the former Secretary General of the SACP, is a living monument to this outstanding hero and will be treated as a place of pilgrimage. In addition to being Secretary General of the SACP, Mabira was a member of the National Executive of the African National Congress and a Vice President of the South African Congress of Trade Unions. While acknowledging the economic and infrastructure achievements around the World Cup, the President said that Heritage Day was a day for South Africans to celebrate their contribution to the promotion of the country to the world as a bastion of peace, stability, progress and unity. He added that wearing of Bafana Bafana jerseys and the display of the rainbow flags everywhere in our country by patriotic South Africans will forever be part of our heritage. South Africans should continue showing their pride in these national colors at all times as they unite and strengthen solidarity amongst the people of this country. South African support for other African nations received recognition. The World Cup also played a key role in promoting African unity. The support provided to Ghana and all African teams indicated that South Africans realize that the country is an integral part of the continent, said President Zuma. The 2010 local organizing committee, Bafana Bafana, coaches and the technical team were all praised for their contribution to the World Cup. President Zuma specifically thanked our football players for not just playing football, but for being the face of the tournament. The unity experienced in the country was a highlight of the tournament showing that the country has great potential for further nation building. This was also evident on the day during the Heritage Day program where some prominent South African artists entertained the crowds. SA United presented a first collaboration of its kind featuring Danny Kaye, Steve Hofmeyer, Chomi, Abigail Gubega, and PJ Powers. Enthusiastic crowds, some dressed in traditional clothes and carrying musical instruments, sang songs of passion, enjoying the day together. National days such as Freedom Day, Heritage Day, Youth Day and Women's Day should become more focused celebrations of the ushering in of freedom and democracy in our country promoting the building of a common future for all.